Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have for you today is something that is pretty different, uh, definitely different to my channel, um, is the desktop army. Well, I never really got into this, I never even thought about getting any of these kind of little figures or models, uh, however you want to kind of spin it, but this is volume 9 in the series, and I've seen a bunch of them around the stores, and I think they are kind of up there in price, but once again, I haven't messed with it at all, so... I think once I actually go around and you know getting this thing together and reviewing it, I might be singing a different tune, but let's go ahead and just take a look at the box first. So the box art I think is actually pretty cool and this is like something that really caught my eyes because uh, I just thought it looked like a really cool like rabbit chick with uh, I guess a, li a little rabbit robot so I was like oh this is pretty interesting and you know just kind of like interested in what the, um, the whole gimmick is behind it so let's go ahead and take a look at other parts of the box. The manufacturer is Mega House, came out in 2018 and on the back of the box you just see the different types of I guess the other little figurines that are in this volume, so I'm not really too sure. Maybe it's like one big set, uh, but they have first, second, third, so obviously this is going to be the second one as displayed right here. Um, not really too interested in the colors of the first one. It's kind of like a Hatsune Miku. I guess, I guess it's okay, but uh, they actually have different facial expressions. Uh, this one's okay. It's more of a cheery, kind of like happy-go-lucky one. Uh, pretty neutral face right there, but they all have like the same exact design and mold So I was like, okay The only thing that's really gonna be different is going to be the different faces and then it's going to be the color So I really wanted to get the red one, but I did not see it when I was uh, picking these up So I was like, yeah, I'll just go ahead and pick up the the red one later, which I definitely will do so uh, one thing I, I know a couple people asked me about is is this based on an anime or is it based on anything in particular? That I don't know. I've never seen this character in any kind of form of uh, animation. But I know there is a saber uh, from Faint, uh, Faint Stay Order, I think it's called. Um, but I never picked it up. I just kind of saw it at one of the hobby shops. And I was like, oh, it's like, it looks okay. But I know there are those. There were some Frame Arms girls. Um, so I... I saw the Gurai, but I just didn't really think anything about getting her. But yeah, some of these are based off of actual characters. This one, I think, is just an original character. And here's everything that's going to come inside the package. So this is pretty much like a model kit. These are all going to be on sprues and runners. So you are going to have to cut these out. So a little bit of uh, assembly and tools are going to be required. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't really look like too much. Probably take maybe a, co a couple of minutes of work. So let's go ahead and put this bad girl together. Okay, and here it is all put together. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of assembly, nothing really too major. Uh, I'll definitely go over all the individual bits, but there's not too much to go over, so this should be relatively quick. Uh, I can give you my thoughts on exactly how the process for building it was. It was pretty much like Gumpla. Um, the nubs, eh, they're not going to be that great, uh, even when I shade them down. It's just going to reveal that white, especially on the, um, the painted parts, obviously. But, you know, it, the process is very simple. It took me only a couple minutes to snip it all out, uh, shade it down, and then bam, snapped it all together. The only problem, would, which I'm going to go ahead and cover, is uh, the instructions. They're pretty straight to the point, but I was kind of left a little confused as like, what do I do with some of these other parts? Uh, maybe it contributed to the fact that the instructions are not in English, but I'll go ahead and I'll show you right now. So here are the instructions. Uh, it's pretty straight to the point when it comes to like this little area. Uh, just shows you the construction of everything, the little backpack thrusters, you get the head construction. But then I, I go to this and I'm like, what is this piece? Uh, the only thing I can think of is since like this doesn't have any actual hands to hold weapons, maybe this item allows you to hold weapons, um, you know, that looks like it's in the hand. Uh, that's the best thing I can think of, but once again, I don't have any of these other ones and I haven't really looked up any other like reviews. So I didn't really know what I was getting myself into and I, I, I'm still a little confused, but I'm pretty sure that is just a part for uh, weapons. And then you have this little guy. Um, I mean, it's cool, but I was kind of wondering why it has two little holes on the side of its head. Uh, I'm just gonna chalk that up to custom, like customizing, but it doesn't show anything on like why there's two little holes on the side of its head, like little pegs uh, or peg holes. But yeah, I guess I guess you can go ahead and just like plug some things right into it. And then down here you get some like different joint connectors, which is cool, but these joints are super, super hard to take out, so I didn't use them, but I'm pretty sure this just allows you to kind of get better angles with legs, um, and, and you could also do it with the arms. I think there were some 
that you could do for the arms as well. But uh, yeah, I was like, I'm not really too sure. I'm, I just don't really need them at the moment. So the overall sculpt and the color looks really good. I love the purple all across the kit. I think it looks really, really cute. The facial expression is cute. So it's a little chibi, you know, like little rabbit mecha chick. Uh, not too much different than the like frame arms girl. So really excited to go ahead and have this. Now there's gonna be some articulation in the neck. Uh, just kind of on a little ball joint so that can move all the way around. And then these little ears, they're gonna be on these little pegs so they can move all the way around as well. The waist also has a little bit of a joint movement. The arms are going to be on little ball joints so they can move around as well. The elbow joint can also rotate so if you want to go ahead and get different types of positions uh, you could definitely do so like that. And it's also going to have one point of articulation which will give you a 90 degree bend. Hips are going to be on ball joints as well. One point of, one point of articulation right here in the knee so it's going to be pretty decent of a bend. And then these thruster parts are going to be on ball joints, but they don't really rotate too much. Uh, you can kind of move it all around, but it's going to pop out fairly easy, as you can see right there. Now, what does she come with in terms of accessories? Well, she does have this little mecha rabbit companion, which is pretty cute, to be honest. Uh, it does have two little peg holes right there, so if you want to plug something in, uh, I mean, you definitely can. And then the little tail is going to be connected at the bottom. Now, there is going to have this little block peg right here. So what this is going to do is just going to like pretty much dock uh, right behind her <laughs> like so uh, so it's I mean it, it's adorable it's a little like companion thing kind of it reminds me of uh, destiny like the little ghost so I thought that's pretty cool it's a little attachment and uh, you know basically replicates her little tail as you can see right in the bottom and then she is going to come with these little stand pieces that connect to the back of the foot uh, so you can have her just kind of like free reign uh, stand up without the need of any kind of stand now, if you don't want to use these for whatever reason, you want to put it on a stand maybe for some dynamic poses, it does come with a little action base for it. So you can go ahead and like raise one leg and kind of like do some like little cutesy poses and all that. But that's really up to you. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and keep it with the stand just so I know it's a little bit more secure. It's not going to kind of like fall down at any given shake of the table. So let's say you want to keep the headpiece, but you don't want these little rabbit ears. There is going to be a little accessory you can go ahead and just plug in right there. And here it is. So it's basically just the same headpiece, uh, but it doesn't have the little pegs. Uh, that's going to be a separate little attachment like so. Now, let's say you don't want the headpiece at all. Well, you do get a little hair attachment because this one has a little slot that makes this plug into it. But you can go ahead and just have the hair without the headpiece. And there it is. So no little extra attachments on the head, kind of more normalized of a chick. Uh, now there are going to be different, I guess, bangs, uh, so you can go ahead and change out the bangs if you want. And here it is, so all it happens is like they just kind of split this. So here is like the original one that I had before, so it just kind of like cuts a little bit right there instead of it being pointed down all the way, it just kind of shortens it. But because the way it looks right here, uh, I don't know, it just kind of looks a little funny. It's not as uh, smooth, so I would say this is going to look a little bit better with the actual uh, head piece right here on the head. Okay, so you get two more head pieces, but the thing is like I'm pretty sure these don't connect to anything. Uh, well, at least anything on this kit. These should probably go to one of the other desktop army chicks. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the headpiece and it has a, uh, a square peg, but this has like a little dip, so that's a little bit odd. Uh, and these two seem to go together because these are the only parts that are kind of like more compatible this way. So you just essentially plug this right in there um, and it's more just like a perfect, not perfect, but a conjoined of all three of those separate parts. Um, but yeah, no, I don't have any of the heads that can actually fit underneath here, so maybe this is supposed to just go to one of the other ones. So the last little accessory for this little kit is going to be this little face, which is pretty lewd. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It looks a little weird, um, I don't know, just because the fact that this is like a little small girl and this face is just pretty odd. So, uh, But ultimately, yeah, this is something that goes to this kit. Okay, and here are all the little joints and extra accessories that's gonna come with it. Uh, once again, there's really no instructions except for like some of these right here for the legs, but I don't know, it's like, what, what, are, what are these parts? I don't know, the instructions don't tell me. So um, obviously I could just do maybe a quick Google search and I would definitely get the answer I need for all this, but um, I, I would prefer something that just kind of explains to you right out of the box and doesn't have to do like extracurricular, uh, curricular, you know, investigation to find out what this little 
weird part goes to and I'm kind of just assuming it goes to underneath here and maybe conjoins multiple stands but I mean I, even on the box it doesn't even show that so I'm just kind of like whatever about it I'm, I'll keep it to the side because if I ever decide to get more of these uh, maybe these will go ahead and come in handy and also you get a desktop army sticker sheet so you can put all these little small stickers all over the kit I'm definitely not but you can also advertise the desktop army uh, crew you know if you're a part of the whole desktop army army you can go ahead and rep it me nah, not so much uh, they're cool stickers but I'll probably just put it in my drawer just for the time being I usually find something to do with these stickers uh, eventually but yeah that's pretty much about it for everything that comes in this little case okay so on to final thoughts um, well the reason I have a gun and converge right there is because I just want to show the height difference and it kind of ties in together uh, with the similar similarities of their purpose uh, now this being a desktop army figure the gun and converge kind of is a part of the same thing they're just little desktop I would say conversation starters uh, you don't really play with them for one uh, you just kind of like put them on there look at them they're pretty detailed nicely painted cool uh, some people might come up like, oh man, that's a pretty cool little, you know, mech or a little robot, you know, what, what is it? And bam, now you got someone building Gundams for the rest of their life because now you kind of got them interested. Uh, but that's here and over there. The little figurine of a girl, I guess this is really going to depend on where you're working at because where I work, I would get ridiculed. Um, I don't even bring the little Gundam Converge. I have like little models, but I don't, I don't bring like much of anything. Um, and that's just kind of like how it is. Like it's, it's a little girl robot, which I mean, I think it's cool. It's a little cool figurine, but people are just gonna be like, man, what's, what's going on with that? So it would look a little weird on the desk. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but once again, this is a target towards a Japanese audience. And I've seen so many uh, just working in that kind of um, environment. I have a lot of Japanese coworkers and employees. Um, they have these little things like maybe not exactly this, but they have little figurines of um, Maybe like the Hiroshima carps, you know, or they have like little pugs or Pokemon They have a lot of different things So this I would if I saw this on someone's desk I would instantly know that this is a person that is cultured <laughs> uh, But uh, I'll be like, oh, hey, you like little mech, you know figurines. I like the frame arms girls Oh, I like frame arms girls, too. So basically a conversation starter uh, but going back to the final review my thoughts uh, this is a $20 price tag this is about a $5 price tag so you're paying 15 bucks for something that has uh, you know basically more accessories more more add-ons uh, better customization taller more way more points of articulation than a com uh, converge um, I'll say that's about it that you, you get those main things so more accessories points of articulation you know that that's in the height so I would probably say this is maybe worth I would say $15 I paid about 17 for it um, but I would say 15 is a pretty solid price for one of these little things um, it's gonna look cool on my little desk I have a little, whole bunch of little figurines already on there uh, but yeah that's just pretty much my thought is it, you know it's worth 15 maybe not the 20 or whatever price tag is gonna be in your country um, eh, it, it, it's okay it's okay so that's it for me guys just want to go ahead and point that out uh, like always definitely com like comment subscribe on this video if you can um, I just I definitely would love for y'all to let me know what I can do better for you especially when uh, season three of my channel is gonna be coming up in, in pretty much two months so I'm kind of brainstorming what I'm gonna do now uh, what I'm gonna try and make different but that's it so definitely thank y'all for watching and I'll be seeing y'all in the next review bye bye Bro, I think it's time we need to have an intervention. An intervention for what? Out of all things you could have reviewed, out of everything you could have built, you built a little tiny rabbit. Well, um, I, I mean, I thought it was cool. It didn't take that long, so I mean, what else could I really review? God damn it, I don't have a waifu. You build yourself all these waifus, where's mine? When the hell am I going to get a waifu? Eh, I guess you're right, Steve. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I got something that works. Maybe something like Megami Device. You know what? It is like a little cute rabbit. Ah, I guess it's alright.